Welcome back to Mediocre MTG, everyone. Uh, thanks again for joining me. Uh, I'm not saying happy Thursday anymore because, A, I'm recording these videos in advance, um, and B, uh, I'm posting multiple days now, not always on a Thursday. I think I did like Sunday and Thursday, so I'm going to try and, try and do a couple more. Why not? Uh, once the new year hits, I'm really going to get back into the, the gold cube again and Hopefully I have some new new packs to crack and see if I can come up with some other things. Um, but this week, uh, this uh, this will be for Sunday, I'm, I'm guessing, um, I wanted to talk about what I would brew if I had uh, the time and uh, the extra cards to play Pioneer. I mean, I already saw my green-white cats deck. That is complete. That is a, that is a legal legal Pioneer deck, even though I had to take out Felidar. Uh, Guardian. So um, I guess first things first, um, there is a card that we've seen me play in a number of decks that uh, I definitely wanted to build around. That's right, good old Fog. I forget where it's at. I think it's an M14. That's our that's our that's our card for for printing. That's our uh, expansion. That's our set. So we've got we've got multiple fog effects here. First, I've got the original fog. You know, I've only got two out. Uh, Winds of Calsara, you know, that's a two drop. Uh, terrifying presence is not good. Uh, Druid's Deliverance for for two. Eh. Prevent damage that we about to combat players. Yep. Uh, another one. Commencement of the festivities. Same 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 type of card. So, thinking about this, like, all right, I like Hogs, and there's only one real deck to play Fogs in. That's right. We know where I'm going. <sighs> Maze's End. You know, I, I, played, I played Maze's End against Maze's End once back in RTR Theros, and, and he beat me. He said I had the game. Um, I remember it very well. He ended up being me. Of course, I was playing uh, Red Black Minotaurs. Uh, Minotaurs. Uh, Taurus, Taurus, whatever. So, you know what? Mazes and why not? It's one of those goofy things that maybe if, if I were to ever play, it catch a couple people out of left field. Again, not knowing uh, the metas for, you know, where I'd be playing here. Um, so I did, when I did get Green White Cats, ended up picking up a <laughs> promo Mazes Ends for under a buck each. You know what? Why not? So, of course, if you're doing Maze's End, uh, you're running gates. So we've got one of all the gates. Simic, Selesnia, Rakdos, Orzov, Izzet, Gruul, Gagari. Gateway Plaza is a gate. That gives us an 11th. Demir, Boros, Azorius. And I've got three more uh, Gruuls in there for a good measure. Why? Because if you're playing gates, and I got some... You know, forest. I guess I picked out all my lands. If you're playing gates. Maybe, uh, maybe you need a couple of things to help you out. So of course, this isn't fine tune here. So, kind of looking for for lands matter, gates matters. Um, so the first one, you know, the obvious one for me is a good old gate creeper vine. You know, defender. Let's look for a. We should focus. Look for a basic land or a gate. So that's gonna it's gonna give us a, a blocker, some of the chump, and help dig us lands. Uh, next, land lands is good. One drops is good. A zero three with reach. I don't know how relevant reach is gonna be, but putting land from our hand on the battlefield tapped, uh, pretty much at any point is gonna be pretty good for us. Uh, so our brother grazer seems real good. Uh, you know what else seems real good for uh, for a one drop? Open the gates. Look for a basic land or a gate and put it in our hand. You know that can end up comboing with our Arbor our arboreal grazer. I don't know. So then uh, again, looking and I've only got one of these guys and I'd have to sit here and and take my you know seven and a half minutes to determine what makes most sense. Uh, district guide is a three drop. Too, too, a little bit of bigger of a body, but looking for a land card or a gate card, putting your hand. Again, I don't know if I have the room for that. If I will, for four of. With these piles, 
are essentially just like, hey, here's here's ideas. <sighs> Gates Matters. Here's a three drop, here's a creature, here's an alternate win for us. <sighs> gate Breaker Ram gets plus one, plus one for each great gate. They control two or more, they get Vigilance and Trample. So, chances are I'm going to have at least three when it's out. It's a 5-5 five, five Vigilant Trample. That's not too bad. You know, be, be sweet with haste. Um, again, you got to, of course, you'd have to worry about removal, but at some point, you know, maybe holding on to those cards for a game two, if you sneak out the game one where, you know, someone ends up pulling out um, any sort of removal because they see what you're playing, that might be okay. Uh, lastly, I think Gates of Blaze is good. Um, dealing X damage to each creature where X is the number of gates I control. And board wipes, um, you know, when I play that, that, uh, that guy in, uh, when he was playing, uh, Maze Zen, Turbo Fog, um, he definitely was playing, uh, blue, had access to blue and white and was playing Sphinx's Revelation, drawing cards, gaining life. Um, yeah, I, I kind of see it, but I think more. This way, I, I think I like it more. I, for some reason, had Terrifying Presence pulled aside as it's from Avacyn Restored. We cannot. So the second one, so that's 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 the goofy cheap one to build. Second one, I'm trying to think of, you know, I, was, I was looking to like, well, what's something else I, I can do? What's something that's easy and, again, you know, cheap for me? I really don't want to put any money into these and cards I have to buy. I'm not making investments with these things. If I spend, you know, $25, $30 to fill out a deck, then I'm probably like, yeah, that's kind of over, over budget for me. So kind of looking through to see, you know, looked at all the the rares essentially from uh, RTR on. This guy stands out. Good old Bedlam Reveler. So uh, one less for each uh, incident and sorcery. So you shouldn't have to pay eight for it with prowess. Drawing cards, so getting a getting a guy in there, um, cheaper, prowess. I'm I'm thinking a, a spells matter theme. I do have two bedroom 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 red colors. So thinking about prowess and red aggro um, from this time, you know, if I'm packing three right now because that's what I have. Monastery Swiss spear, one one drop haste, one two prowess. You know, that's that's a good clock along with it. Uh, Soul Scar Mage, you know, essentially the same thing, but without without haste, and then it'll put my soul, my soul encounters. You don't have too many other kind of one, essentially looking for one drop creatures that I have. I know there's a a goblin from uh, one of the original RTR block that's I think has haste or something like that. Probably has battalion. That seemed good. Uh, this this guy stuck out to me. Uh, there's our there's our world champ. Javier Dominguez's card, uh, one drop for a first strike in haste. Um, the the target knight's not going to matter unless I have multiple of these guys out. Not going to pack any equipment that doesn't make sense in here. So at this point, I've got like, all right, you know, if I, I've got enough of this, so I'm looking for kind of a is it is it slee? I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know all the different names of things. So thinking about what I want to pack for for red in here, that's going to help. Prowess that'll you know burn you know some sort of pioneer burn. Uh, lightning strike's gonna be you know probably a four of you know dealing three to creature player. I I have a real soft spot for good old steering blood. If you could deal two damage to a creature for two and then three to its controller, that seems pretty good to me. Um, did I see there's another card that's kind of out like that? Forget what it was. There's something where if a land enters play, no, it's I think it's from Zendikar block, so it doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, for for this, if being able to remove a creature and and deal three, that seems that seems really powerful for two. It might you know hopefully be on nail a, a mana dork or something small enough will work. I like Titan Strength a lot. I, I think Scry is really good, especially with uh, all the issues Red has with drawing, on uh, giving a you know, on turn two being able to drop one or two of these on a on a Swift Spear seems pretty good with the Scry. 
Um, again, with the whole burn, ag, super fast temple type thing. And, you know, those appear to be a four for me. Again, kind of looking at that type of thing, um, I do have Samut Sprint. Um, it's not Salmon, I believe. I believe it's Samut um, because she's really fast. Um, giving plus two, plus one in haste. And again, this, it's, it's in there for the scry. Um, it's not necessarily a plus three, plus one. Um, I, might, I did have some other cards that kind of flagged that could work a little bit better that maybe give a, a trample instead and not necessarily haste. Uh, first strike would also be good. Again, you know, I'm not going to need too much with haste, I don't think, with, you know, again, with these, you know, Swiss beer, Swiss beer and uh, our fervent champion. Uh, next, again, you know, because... Because of the scry, magma generator to deal two damage. Um, I know shock's a one drop. Shock could be another consideration too. Um, with a minimal amount of testing I would do, um, I would compare shock to magma jet to see if that paying that extra one mana is necessary or not. You know, dealing two and being, you know, being able to scry an extra two for one additional mana seems pretty good for me. So there's my kind of a red, red aggro burn Slee, Sly, I don't know. I don't know. I know some of the goofy decks' names. You know, Cheerios, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, last one I've got for today. You know, of course, you know, if you look at the title or um, I guess the description, um, I am one of those people when you kind of click on something and it says, oh, here's my top 10, whatever, and it's a video, and you have to actually watch the video when you don't have the time. But I guess when you're going to YouTube, you're going to assume you have the time, you're going to watch the video. So, a couple of these cards had already stuck out to me in the past. Um, but what I think um, really kicked it off was, you know, playing um, Throne of Eldraine here recently. And pulling this guy in uh, my seal pool and I played my wife. Um, Stone Coil Serpent, you know, uh, X, X, straight up X, not... X and anything, reach trample and protection from multicolored enters battlefield with, of course, plus one, plus one counters. Um, and I'm just thinking, like, why not? You know, there's there's cards in there with just X, just X in them. Endless one, another another good example. Just straight up X, you know, with with that ability, nothing nothing else special on it. Uh, Stone coil appears to be um, much better. An endless one in that regards. And then thinking like, well, what can I do with X? X is, X can be anything. You know, this will be my kind of perfect mana curve deck. You know, if you can put a X for one, an X for two, an X for three, unless you're waiting on, a, you have a four. But, you know, you can play your drops when you need them if, you know, following your curve is important. Um, I think green's important. Um, haste is good. You know, protection from blue could be. Uh, I know green right now is pretty pretty powerful. Uh, Miss Cutter Hydra, I do have three of these. Um, the, the haste is pretty good. And then, of course, you're adding that extra green in there. Um, in here is, is a thought, is Ugin's Conjurant. Conjurant. Um, same X thing, but if it would be dealt damage, you remove that many plus one, plus one counters. It's a, it's a cheap alternative. Definitely cheaper than a uh, good old Walking Ballista where I happen to have one of... Um, again, this is not a budget-friendly card for me, even at $10. Um, not something I don't want to keep packing. Mult you know, I'm not going to go and spend multiples on that. Um, <sighs> Hungering Hydra. I should have a couple of these. Uh, there's two or three that I have. Um, plus X, you know, plus one, plus one. Can be blocked by more than one creature, so it's it's you're not gonna gang up on it. If it's dealt damage, you're gonna be getting that many plus one plus one counters on it, unless they straight up kill it. That seems pretty good in that deck for just the extra X. Get a basswood hider, kind of same thing, with, but with double green, um, being able to move plus one plus one counter. So at this point, kind of looking, you know, I'll, I'll look at the rares I have. Um, and see, and like, all right, what's my theme here? X is my theme. What's my other theme here um, for this one? Is going to be moving the counters. Um, got Pulacranos in there. 
think it's dropped down enough. This could be something potentially I want to have a number of, especially for the monstrosity for removal. Um, again, I don't know if I'd have room in, in there for it. <sighs> Savage summoning. Being able to drop a guy at your opponent's end step seems pretty good. Can't be countered. Can't counter my creature, and it comes in with an extra plus one, plus one. Seems good. I think it's a pretty pretty inexpensive card, too, so I, I have no issues with that. So thinking about X um, and that, um, I think I think Animus Awakening wants to go in here. If I'm if I'm playing this, if I can get one of these on turn four, and I'm looking okay, and of course who knows, to turn five, if I if I'm able to ramp more, then I want to ramp more. And if, with spell mastery, um, I'd pry run. I think I have a couple of rootbound crags, the the red green uh, check land. Got some of the tangos, I think. I'm just mainly, uh, mainly forests and mountains from there. Did I say, did I say mountains? I did, because I think from there you do need removal. I think probably the cheapest removal you have here, um, in, in X territory that, that can help you out late game, you, you draw one, you need to do something is Bane Fire. Especially when it's the five or more and can't be countered. So I think Banefire could be a really, you know, of course it's all X. It, to me, they're all, for the most part, pretty important. Thinking about more removal, I've got Burn from Within. Um, dealing damage, not so much the indestructibility, um, but again, just kind of like Banefire, but without the rider of it. And, you know, if you, X is five or more, it can't be countered. Um, and then lastly, for more removal, got one of these and it's cheap enough i think burn from within is cheap enough you know bulk rares are awesome you know you 20 30 cents per <coughs> i'm fine with that um x red green um deal creature with target creature flying or target creature without and or target player so having one or all three modes being able to take out I mean, I, I guess in a perfect world, you you pay this for like eight or seven, and you're dealing five to two different creatures, one hopefully a flyer. I mean, I'd hope they'd have a flyer out, and then, you know, five to a flyer and five to five of your opponent's face seems pretty good. Looking looking at uh, this to help help out, again, you know, you I don't, not playing a lot with making sure I can, I'm, I'm still filling my hand up. I think Inspiring Call is pretty good coming in here. For an uncommon from dragons, should be should be cheap enough. Again, I'm assuming like a quarter. Dragon card for each creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Giving them indestructible, so giving them a, a way out in case something's going to happen. Allowing you to draw a card. Even if it's just one creature, I'm saving a creature and drawing one card for three. Um, I definitely want to get two more of those. I think that's pretty good. Um, we've got them in here. Um, definitely would be sideboard naturalize. Green is the best for artifact and enchantment removal. Um, can't go wrong with naturalize. Lastly, you know, and I already mentioned lands. You know, that happens to me a lot with most of my decks getting it to some point um, where I have mana and nothing to do because I'm, you know, I'm out of cards or whatever. And that's where hopefully a, a Karn's Bastion could come in where, you know, if I do have creatures and then, you know, I have three of them, I can put plus one, plus one counters on them with proliferate. Um, and if I'm not, then as long as I have my colors, I'm not too worried about it just, you know, generating uh, colorless mana. So those are the three decks I I will at some point do. You know, I have some cards to get rid of and I'm not going to use. You know, I pulled out my... Uh, The one, yeah, the, the blue rare from from cons, dig through time. We've got a two or three dig through times that are just going to sit there and I'm not going to use. I might as well get rid of them. And a couple of other cards like that that are, you know, $10, 15 you know, a couple up to 20 a couple maybe a little bit more that I'm not going to use. That'll, that'll go and pay for my box, boxes of Theros uh, when that comes out. 
Um, eventually, hopefully, Phillies. And, of course, could see new cars are put in here, too. That's They're not set in stone. I think my... My red one's gonna be quicker, but there we go. I've got I've got a uh, Mazes and Fog. I've got a you know Red Prowess Burn deck, and then I've got my uh, <coughs> X Perfect Manicure Red Green deck. So um, all of them featuring red. Um, two of them featuring green pretty heavily. Cats featuring green. I guess I flock to kind of red green in these formats. And, uh, yeah. Unless it's sealed or a, a draft, chances are red or green is bound to be seen. Sick about it, thinking about Commander. I know I've got Kemba, but everyone else pretty much always had a, the red or green. So uh, That does it for tonight. Um, this was a longer one, or coming in just over 21 minutes as I'm, I'm looking. So thanks for joining me, Mediocre MTG. Um, this is what I would slash am slowly uh, brewing in Pioneer. Uh, you can clearly see that I uh, don't expect to do much with them even when I have them build. Maybe just have them for some kitchen kitchen table decks as uh, the kids get older or I get a, a chance to go out or two or you know, play with some friends and you want some non uh, non-draft sealed deck. So there we go. Thanks again for joining me and have a good night.